Now here's another problem to consider. Determine whether the values in the table belong to an exponential function, a logarithmic function, a linear function, or a quadratic function. So we've give, we're given five different coordinate pairs. We're told that it's either going to be exponential, logarithmic, linear, or quadratic. So let's start looking at the pattern that we notice. We can see that with our x values, we see an increase of one unit as we move down the table. On our y values, let's notice that we start at 3 and then go to 1. And we can see that that would be, let's just try subtraction. We subtract 2. Does that continue? Yes. We subtract 2 to get to negative 1. Subtract 2 to get to negative 3. Subtract 2 to get to negative 5. So the pattern that we see is a continued decrease by the same value. Now that's going to give us then a constant rate of change. What we see is that our y values are changing by a subtraction of 2 at the same time that our x values are going up by 1. Anytime we can see a constant rate of change, we know that we can identify that as linear. And so this is going to be an example where we have values that would fit a linear function.